Turkey and Iran are starting the year with a hug. That's right, after years of close borders, Iran and Turkey are shaking hands once again. They're talking about opening borders and allowing trade to flow freely between them. And that's not all. They're also looking to tackle regional issues that affect them. But before we get into the details, do us a favor, hit that like button and subscribe to Tech Revolution. Your support means a lot. Alright, and without further ado, let's jump right into it. Iran and Turkey have decided to strengthen their economic connections. In quite a historic move, they are aiming to establish a free trade zone between the two nations. This decision unfolded during Iranian President Ibrahim Raisi's visit to Turkey earlier this week. During the visit, he participated in the Supreme Economic Council. They engage in discussions to enhance bilateral relations. The ongoing humanitarian crisis in Gaza was at the forefront of their meeting's agenda. Before his trip to Turkey, President Raisi expressed the importance of Turkey. Both countries are predominantly Muslim. This means they share common religious and moral values. And that's not all. Iran sees Turkey as a vital commercial and economic partner for Iran. President Raisi set a target of reaching $30 billion in commercial and economic relations. He believes that this goal is attainable with the current capacities of both countries. Both countries are backing a two-state solution for the Palestinians. With common views on Palestine, this shared perspective could create a robust alliance between the two countries in the region. Both countries have also faced sanctions by the US before. These sanctions have also given the two an opportunity to collaborate. It is hoped that the collaboration will help the two navigate economic uncertainty fueled by such unilateral sanctions. Iranian Central Bank Chief Mohammad Reza Farzin joined President Ibrahim Raisi's delegation to Ankara. Farzin shared that Iran has some valuable resources in Turkey, especially in terms of foreign exchange. He expressed the desire to make the most of these resources. Farzin met and had discussions with the economy minister and other Turkish officials. Together, they explored ways to utilize the funds generated from Iran's gas exports in Turkey. During President Raisi's official visit to Turkey, both countries signed 10 cooperation documents. These agreements focus on enhancing bilateral investment and economic collaboration. This happened as part of the 8th meeting at the Iran-Turkey Supreme Council of Economic Cooperation. It's exciting to see the potential for increased partnership between Iran and Turkey. There's a lot to look forward to in terms of economic growth and cooperation. Economically, Iran and Turkey have maintained business relations, notably in the oil industry, despite economic challenges and sanctions. And guess what? Efforts to increase bilateral commerce to $30 billion annually have been declared. This will boost the trade between the two countries in the years to come. President Raisi's visit aimed to strengthen energy cooperation, including the extension of the gas contract. The extent to which these aspirations materialize certainly requires a robust bilateral framework. The two will work together to tackle common challenges, such as the natural gas agreement that expires in 2026. Turkey says that the full implementation of a preferential trade agreement is in the works. Erdogan sees it as the best way to improve commercial ties between Ankara and Tehran. He expressed hope for Raisi's support in addressing obstacles faced by Turkish firms operating in Iran, like fuel price issues and airline frequency limits. Erdogan envisioned a win-win understanding, where resolving these issues would encourage Turkish companies to invest more in Iran. The call for a cooperative approach to economic relations between Turkey and Iran was a key theme in Erdogan's statements. The designated location for the free trade zone is the city of Khoi, situated in the border region between Iran and Turkey. The importance of this is voiced by Adel Najafzadeh, the head of the Iran-Turkey Parliamentary Friendship Association. Adel says there is a need for substantial investments in this joint free trade zone. This, he says, will produce economic prosperity in the border area and on a national level, contributing to increased turnover. Najafzadeh emphasized President Raisi's policies. Raisi's focus on fostering positive relations with regional countries. 
Good neighborly relations are seen as significant achievements that will drive economic growth for Iran. Iran and Turkey also hope to cooperate on regional issues. Dara talks at length about the Gaza issue. Rice's visit to Turkey comes in the midst of the Gaza conflict and ongoing regional challenges. This has been shaping the discussions between the two nations. The visit resulted in the signing of 10 agreements emphasizing collaboration in energy, free trade, and transportation. These agreements underscore the delicate balance between cooperation and addressing regional complexities in the Iran-Turkey relationship. The visit emphasized efforts to strengthen economic ties while presenting a united front on regional issues. There are deliberate efforts to rebuild trust between the two. The ongoing efforts and evolving relationships signal a commitment to navigate complex ties. There is a central focus on economic cooperation and potential areas of agreement in regional policies. Challenges persist due to geopolitical competition, conflicting regional goals, and security concerns driving friction between Iran and Turkey. While joint efforts against terrorism and drug trafficking exist, political and ideological disagreements, particularly in Syria and Iraq, continue. Collaborative efforts against the PKK and PJAC, as well as shared economic and security interests, are overshadowed by significant differences. The recent Gaza conflict has added complexity to the Iran-Turkey relationship, blending collaboration and tensions. The dynamics involve a mix of collaboration and rivalry, influenced by geopolitical, economic, and security factors. Turkey's pursuit of economic relations with Israel, in contrast to Iran's objectives, further underscores the nuanced dynamics. Turkey is pushing to open border crossings between the two nations, they are keen on allowing free flow of goods and people between them. President Recep Tayyip Erdogan shared that Turkey is contemplating the idea of opening new border crossings with its eastern neighbor, Iran. This revelation came after discussion with Iran's President Ibrahim Raisi as both countries aim to revitalize their economic ties. Thus, they see it as a central area to revive trade to levels before the COVID-19 pandemic. While trade between the two nations reached its peak in 2012 at nearly $22 billion, it has dwindled over the years. In 2023, it stood at $7.4 billion, it dropped from around $10 billion in the previous year. And get this, it has begun. Efforts are ongoing to establish trade centers in border areas to boost the economic development of border provinces. The Turkish leader spilled the beans. Currently. Turkey and Iran share four border crossings with the ongoing construction in the Gurbalak Bazargan region. Erdogan acknowledged the lingering effects of international sanctions. These have especially been in the banking system. Erdogan emphasized that Turkey wouldn't sever its economic ties with Iran due to these measures. The future looks pretty shiny for these two nations. President Raisi's visit is an olive branch to resolve all past issues. Erdogan's welcome highlights the ongoing efforts to find common ground amid occasional conflicts. The visit underscores Iran's commitment to friendship with Iran. They will need to work closely on the delicate balance between cooperation and rivalry. Iran-Turkey relations are being shaped by geopolitical realities and respective objectives. A comprehensive approach is essential to examine conflicts and cooperation. They particularly will need to navigate delicately in areas like Syrian crisis and Kurdish issues, but will work arm to arm, acknowledging the complexities of their intricate relationship. The success of trade cooperation will certainly spell growth for both economies. Turkish and Iranian citizens stand to benefit immensely from this cooperation. Increased trade translates to more jobs and good jobs, which will see the people happy. Public opinion is positive in both nations, with the majority of citizens welcoming the new relations between Ankara and Tehran. So there you have it folks! Ankara and Tehran are on a new path. They're forging great partnerships in economy and geopolitics. And this is only the beginning. Surely, the future for Turkey and Iran is shining bright. Stay with us as we bring more news on these exciting developments and we will see you in our next video.